Hey guys, what is up? It's Sauce and Wes, bringing it back with that quality ass content. If you guys already haven't checked out the previous video I posted a few days back, I highly recommend you do. The link to that video will be in the description. So drop a quality down in the comments section below for some more of that content. So let's get right into this video. So I've had a rather rough past couple days. I actually ended up busting my nose and getting a concussion from a car accident I was in the other day. And if you all know anything about car crashes and accidents, it's not fun. Not fun at all. I was spooked. I was spooked in my boots. So what had happened was I was driving on my way to a drill for the army and it was like eight o'clock in the morning. The sun was rising super bright outside. And if there's one thing that doesn't mix, it's dirty windshields and a bright ass sun because they do not mix. So I'm driving up this hill with dirty windshields facing the sun. So I can't see anything. I'm using my hand to block the sun from my eyes. So that way I can see on the road. I could only see the road in front of me, I couldn't see anything else. So with that being said, I also couldn't see the sharp left turn that was seconds away from me while I'm going 45 miles an hour. And next thing I know, bam, airbags deploy, I got a bloody nose, and yeah, my car totaled. So there's nothing much I can really do about that now, but on the bright side, my signed logic shirt just came in the mail today, so I'm happy, what can I say? So today's video is gonna take off on a Saturday night and you know, you know, it's with the boys. The homies just picked me up from my girlfriend's house at the time. It was, we were ready for a good ass night, man. So we were just driving around hometown, Nicholasville, Kentucky, Wilmore, you know, just out late night bowling. We pull into Sonic, we're looking for some grub. We were starving, man, and we were, we were hungry boys. And we get our food and we're just talking and uh, my friend, well, we'll say his name's Lane. Uh, he said he knows of an abandoned cabin that was out on his property. He hasn't been there in years and recommended that we should go check it out that night and immediately when he said abandoned and cabin we were all down you know like we were ready to pull we were ready to fuck some shit up so we pull into his driveway it's about maybe 11 o'clock at night and uh we start hiking out to this abandoned cabin i just remembered it wasn't actually on his property but it was abandoned it was overgrown trees everywhere so we start hiking out and i remember we have to jump this fence and go through this field there was about six or seven of us at the time i remember the whole time there we were all trying to spook each other you know we'd we'd be like oh man i just saw a person oh you know like oh ghosts bro ah you know and we finally get to this cabin and it's like it's like a two-story cabin there's like a whole top level and there's still furniture there's like babies toys there was like a kid's room i remember it was insane it was crazy it was a little it was really eerie and i remember we going through the garage and we look around and there's there's dog cages just kind of laying around you know we didn't we didn't really think of any of it at the time we just figured you know oh these People must have like kept dogs here at the time, you know, whenever the house was still in use. We start looking around, we head upstairs, we take some cool pictures, we head up to the attic, we look around a little more. And then there was this one room kind of sectioned off from all the others. It was almost like a little crawl space. You had to like duck down to get into it, but it was it was a full it was a full blown room. Like it someone could live in there. I remember looking around on the ground and there was these empty pill bottles inside of a small crate with uh, dog clickers laying around, like the little training, uh, you know, the click, click, you know, sit, click, you know, stay, click. <laughs> My friend ends up picking up one of those bottles and looking at the label and reading the label, and it turned out to be dog steroids and dog, like ibuprofen for dogs, and we, we thought to ourselves, we're like, why is this here? Why was everything in such bad conditions? The furniture in this house was old and beat down, but these pill bottles that the, we read the year and it was from 2015 only like only a few years prior and that's when it hit us we were like oh shit we just found an illegal dog fighting arena and it wasn't just one or two of these pill bottles that we found we found probably about 10 or 20 of these pill bottles all labeled with steroids and ibuprofen and i remember we asked lane like when the last time it was that he's been here and he said he hasn't he hasn't been here in years so it had to have happened between his childhood and the day we were there back in 2017 and this place has been batshit abandoned since he was a kid and from there it felt like we were on some fbi law and order type shit like we were collecting these pill bottles and throwing them in our bags you know we we had to figure out who who distributed these who who was using them because if there's one thing that me and my boys don't like it's animal cruelty and that's for damn sure like i have two dogs myself sophie and bandit that i care for every day so we did a little bit more of looking around and then we headed out and we had 
we thought we had some life-changing evidence right now like this was this was insane this was big man illegal dog fighting like who who does that like that's crazy so we head back to our other friend's house we'll we'll say his name's cole his, his name was cole at the time and i remember his mom was still awake like cleaning or something it was about it was about 1 a.m and we ended up getting the veterinarian's number that distributed these pills to these people and she was like all right all right i can give him a call in the morning i'll see what he's up to so from there we get to sleep we wake up around maybe 11 or 12 i don't know we slept in we slept in hardcore and then we all whip up some breakfast and we're like hey let's give this guy a call so we call the number and it just rings it just rings 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 nothing voicemail voicemail every time it was almost like they knew that we knew if you know what i mean but i remember it was wild we were ready to bust someone we we're ready to throw this guy in jail because you know animal cruelty uh-uh it's it's not our thing you know and definitely not my thing and so Good shit, guys. that concludes the story of how we found an illegal dog fighting arena crazy crazy right right outside of my friend lane's neighborhood be sure to leave a like and comment if you enjoyed the video uh subscribe follow me on instagram at sauce and west be sure to turn your post notifications on i'll be posting more here soon gotcha, see y'all later peace